This video is sponsored by Blue Land. Blue Land offers an affordable, effective, and convenient way to clean. Their products are all sourced from clean ingredients, and they don't use any single-use plastic in any of their components, so all the refills are 100% plastic-free. Blue Land is also Safer Choice certified, meaning that EPA scientists have evaluated every single ingredient to ensure that they meet Safer Choice's stringent criteria. With Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or your hands is this nickel-sized tablet. Traditional cleaners and soaps can be 5 to $6 per bottle, only to be thrown away once empty. Blue Land's refill tablets start at a wallet-friendly $2.25, and when you invest in their reusable bottle, it becomes your forever cleaning companion. It's super easy to use. You just fill your forever bottle with warmed hot water, drop one of the tablets in, and use in minutes with no shaking or stirring needed. This is the Clean Essentials Kit, which includes three big spray bottles for bathroom, mirror, and multi-surface cleaning. One of my favorite parts is how great all of these products smell. I love the fresh fragrances like lemon and eucalyptus mint. Such a rewarding part of cleaning is enjoying how nice your home smells afterwards. I also love the peace of mind, knowing that it's all made with plant-based and planet-friendly ingredients, with no single-use plastic. And Blue Land's dishwasher tablets are proven to perform on baked-on, burnt-on stains. No rinse aid needed. All you have to do is click my link down in the description for up to 30% off. You don't want to miss this amazing offer, so be sure to check out the link below. Thank you so much to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get started. Hello. I hope that you are doing very, very, very well tonight. I went to Anime Expo Chibi this past weekend. And I also attended the main anime expo earlier this year. And tonight I wanted to share with you all of the different merchandise I purchased. Uh, mostly from Artist Alley at both of those conventions. I would not recommend the main anime expo. It was my first time ever going and it was super fun but more scary than it was fun. I said afterwards I, that to my boyfriend, like, I, that was fun, but I never want to go back. I just found um, it to be frightening how severely oversold the event was. They definitely sold way more tickets than the convention center could handle. So the experience of being there the entire time was very much like if you've ever been on public transport, where it's rush hour, as many people as physically possible are crammed in the same train car or the same bus to the extent that on your front, your back, and both your sides, you are making full-on body contact with strangers. It was like that throughout the entire convention center. It felt like there was very little, if any, respite from that degree of sardines. Uh, every single aisle, all the hallways, the bathrooms, like everywhere, um, was just frighteningly crammed with people. And it was scary. It made me feel like if there was any kind of emergency, like a fire that needed evacuation, um, that things would go really bad really fast. So I'm sorry to bring up something so... I don't know, such a grim description immediately into a relaxing video, but I do feel the need to warn people that if you do want to go to the main anime expo on one of the main days, like I think I went on Saturday, um, to know what to expect, know what you're getting yourself into, because I found it very frightening and would not like to experience it again. And I thought 
that maybe Anime Expo GB would be um, not like that because it's such a smaller scale event and thankfully that turned out to be true. It was busy, but it was more of the uh, comfortable level of busy that I've experienced before where it feels like you are at a in-demand event, but you are safe. So yeah, if you'd like to experience Anime Expo, I think I'd recommend the cheapy version. I'm very excited to show you what I bought. The first item I'd like to share with you is this pink tote. It is a strawberry cat tote. This was the very first booth that I saw walking into Anime Expo Chibi. And I was so excited to see it. Let me make sure we're in focus here. Because my sister showed me um, this illustration that she saw on Twitter a few months ago. And we were just dying over how cute it was. A strawberry cat. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy fur. With the stem cap. Big, sleepy yawn with the fangs. Blushing cheeks with little white seeds. Strawberries sprouting out here. So, I'm thrilled to have this adorable strawberry cat design on an item in my possession. I always try to remember to bring tote bags to the grocery store. So I've got a cute collection going. This strawberry cat looks pretty calm. This one looks curious and interested. This one's giving you a wave. This one looks happy with her feet up and her tail out. A leaf collar. Flower, 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 flower. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Berry, 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 berry. And this is by M I K O U underscore A R T. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to mention you might already be aware if you follow my Instagram, goodnightmoon underscore ASMR. For the main anime expo, my partner and I went as B and Puppy Cat. That was fun. Oh, somebody actually recognized me from being subscribed to my channel. And they were dressed up as the landlord from Bean Puppy Cat and came running up to me asking, Where's the rent, B? Do you have the rent? Do you have the rent money? And then for Chibi, we went as Bowser and Peach. Specifically, he went as like a punk rock Bowser, and I was a Y2K Paris Hilton style Peach. But the morning of, after I put everything on and looked in the mirror, I realized I looked just like the mom from Mean Girls. The one who's like, if you're gonna drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. And that was what most people thought I was as I was walking around the convention center. A few different people pointed at me and asked, oh, Regina George Peach or like Mean Girls Peach. I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> Close enough. So there's the strawberry cat bag. And I also had to get the keychain. I think mostly because it is glittery and the hook is shaped like a cat. So how could I not? Look at that. I've never seen a hook like that where it's got the kitty shape and the tail and then the charm itself is glittery.
This is a ring from Starcrossed Lovelies. Their logo has a pair of hands linked by the pinky and a smattering of stars. Inside is a lunar moth. I think that's, that's what those are called. So it's a pale green moth. I thought this artist was amazing. Inkwell illustrations. Just such high quality work. I bought three mini prints. In these moments, I would be knocked off my feet, and it was terrifying. 
likeness, and it feels like a delayed haunting. This book was originally for my own documentation, but I don't think I'm the only one who's seen these visions. Maybe some of them have presented themselves to others, and in that I find solace. Hopefully this will serve as inspiration to those who wish to document their own strange encounters, whatever they may be. That's such a fun introduction. So here's what some of these creatures she spotted looked like. Two sticker sheets, Bunny's Strawberry Farm and Bunny's Orange Farm. Let me show you Strawberry Farm first. Just lots of bunny and strawberry themed stickers. And then Bunny's Orange These are a bit glittery, which definitely helped sell me on them. <laughs> and then I came across this booth by this artist, and I absolutely fell in love with her stickers. Originally, I was just going to pick out a couple, but I ended up buying eight of them. There's this one of a window and curtains. I'm not sure where I'm going to put all those, but I think I want them to all be in the same place. Maybe I'll put them all on my laptop. Next will be this print. Halos above their heads. And the Royal Highness has a clown hat with a crown, pink bangs, 
flowing white ruffles around the collar, some pink clown makeup with blue eyebrows, red hands, and there's a howdy. And the other print I got from the same artist is someone lighting up a lighter for this little angel fairy to smoke. I like the star on her forehead. I like the way the smoke looks drifting up out from the cigarette. And her socks. One of them is kind of slouching down. The next item is this Tamagotchi bag. This strap can extend pretty long, so I think I'll be wearing this as a shoulder bag. A crossbody, they call it. So it is a white bag. The brand is Strawberry Milk. Bear spelled like scary, scary style. So I assumed, of course, that would include the photos. No. <laughs> we paid 30 of our credits, took the photos, went to print them, and then it said, $10, please. <laughs> so we just took a picture of the picture on the screen. We're like, we're not paying $10 after spending 30 credits. Are you serious? But overall, it was a net positive experience thanks to winning this little guy. Let's see if he'll fit. the Tamagotchi bag now made complete by his imprisonment. Next, I got two different shirts from Bandage Brigade. I've clipped the first one into a clipboard because I wanted to be able to nicely trace the design without 
the shirt, you know, drooping down on me. So it's this tan shirt, and it features a print of this young lady with the long braids and the big blouse, pants, and sandals, and she's got a basket of oranges tied atop her head. Oranges are growing on the street, drooping down here. There's a few birds against the light of the sun or maybe the moon. And she's riding this tiger, trudging through the jungle, guiding her safely to her destination with the bounty of oranges, of course. Nice silhouette of all the plant life. And here is the name of the brand or artist. This artist had so many different designs I loved. It was so hard to just pick a couple. But the next one, let me fold this one up too so I can put it on the clipboard to show you. Okay, so this design features an inky black night with a crescent moon. I like these little sketchy lines around the moon. The light. The glow of the lantern. One, two, three. Rabbits prancing through the sky weightlessly. And the bunny She's walking along through the fields with a couple of bunnies peeking out from the grass. And this one says Bandage Brigade at the bottom as well. The last one was a short sleeve shirt. This one's got long sleeves that feature a design of red lantern. I think it's so cool when long sleeve shirts have a design going down like that. It's really fun. So this will be nice now that we're getting into deeper into fall and winter. I get so cold at night. I think that will be a good pajama shirt. And then there's this print I got that I think will look cute in the Got the nice pale blue water. One, two, three floating ducklings. This one's bright yellow. More of a pale yellow for the other two. And you can see the gentle ripples of the water being disturbed around them. And from that same artist, I also grabbed this strawberry and chocolate milk sticker featuring strawberry milk and chocolate milk kitties, of course. I think jars that have these fabric tops are so charming. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cat. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry cat. Let me show you up close.
Next, I purchased this sticker book because I'm always buying stickers that I want to admire them, but I don't know where to put them. It's such a commitment, feeling like you won't be able to peel it back off. But these sticker books have pages that are made of a... I'd describe it as a waxy material, like, you know, parchment paper for baking. So you can put them down to have them all together in a collection. You can take the time to flip through and admire. But whenever you decide where you'd like to like. And I just love this design. It's a tree where this community of all these frogs live within these apples. And there's lots of postage going on, lots of mail being exchanged. The mailbox is a frog with an open tongue, open mouth with the tongue sticking out. I'll show you up same artist as well. I got three postcards. This one is Lily of the Valley. So, it's frog themed, of course, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blossoms. show you all these items.